in the audience is Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson. He, he joined me just moments ago from that memorial. Secretary Johnson, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me on, Jake. So I've got to begin with the threat level facing the United States today. Are we on a heightened state of alert? I'd characterize it this way, Jake. We're on a constant state of alert against not only the terrorist-directed attack of the 9-11 type, but also terrorist-inspired attacks, the uh, so-called lone wolf, the homegrown violent extremist of the type we've seen in San Bernardino and Orlando. We're in a relatively new environment now where we've got to be concerned about the tra traditional threat as well as this new threat where Al-Qaeda, ISIL can literally reach into our homeland through the internet, through social media, to recruit and inspire people here, which makes for a more complex environment involving law enforcement, our intelligence community, and our homeland security people working hard to deal with it. Do you think that that new threat environment means that we are not safer today than we were 15 years ago? Good question. We're safer when it comes to the 9-11 style attack. Our government has become pretty good at detecting overseas plots against the homeland. Our intelligence community, our law enforcement community are pretty good now at connecting those types of dots. But we've got this new environment and the new threat, which, which we just talked about, which makes it harder. And we're seeing now attacks in Orlando and San Bernardino that we've got to protect against, which is why I continue to talk about public vigilance, public awareness, the need to build bridges to communities that we know ISIL and AQ are trying to recruit from within. So it's a new environment. This is a new phenomenon. And so the answer to your question is really a mixed one. We've, we've, we're better now at detecting the 9-11 style attack, but it's more challenging with this new environment that we're in. Because I've noticed President Obama has a new construct when describing how safe we are. It used to be that, that he would say we are safer than we were six years ago, seven years ago, whatever. Now he says we're safer than we would be if we weren't doing what we're doing. It's almost an acknowledgement of the idea that because of this lone wolf threat, we really have no idea how safe we are. Jake, since I've been in national security beginning in 2009, we have made significant progress in degrading Al-Qaeda's ability to attack our homeland through our efforts of the U.S. military, our intelligence community. But there's this new, new phenomenon now the, of the terrorist-inspired attack, the lone wolf. And that's the thing that presents the challenge most directly for, my, for our homeland. It's frankly the thing that keeps me up at night, uh, and it requires a whole-of-government response. Secretary Johnson, you were in New York City on 9-11. Tell us about that day for you. Well, 9-11 happens to be my birthday. 9-11-01 was my 44th, birth, 44th birthday, and I was a private citizen. I had left the Pentagon nine months before. I was general counsel of the Air Force in the Clinton years. September 11, 2001, I commuted in to Manhattan to work. I was a lawyer in private practice. And from my office window in midtown Manhattan, I pretty much observed the whole thing. And like a lot of New Yorkers, a lot of Americans, I wanted to do something. And so I've spent the last seven and a half, close to eight years now, uh, trying to do exactly that. When you say you saw it, what do you mean? Do you mean, did you see people jumping from the buildings? I mean, how close, how vivid was it for you? I looked out my office window on 6th and 51st Street. First thing I saw was the smoke billowing out of the first tower against the backdrop of that beautiful blue sky. And then at some point, I looked up and I saw the explosion, the second plane hitting. I was going back and forth between watching it uh, visually out the window and looking at it on TV. And then the thing I'll never forget was to watch that first tower collapse. For those of us in New York, the Twin Towers had been a permanent fixture on the 
the skyscrape, the landscape for almost 40 years then. And to see that first tower collapse, it was almost a moment where my mind could not believe what my eyes were seeing. I kept wanting to see that tower emerge from, from the smoke and the dust. And of course, that, that never happened. And uh, it's a memory, frankly, that's, that's burned into my, my mind. I'll never forget it. Department of Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson at Ground Zero for us today. Thank you so much, Mr. Secretary. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Jake.